to show you a product that helps create memorable learning experiences for your students and that can help create intrinsic motivation for them to do a really good job. Teaching Engine Mechanical, getting down to the nuts and bolts of the motor and then being able to take it apart and measure it, find any problems, change the gaskets, put it back together and then get the engine reconnected and running again is a wonderful learning experience. As a student, many of us can remember the time when we were at school and that very first time that we did some major work on a motor and you put it back together and that first time that you're just first cranking it and just the apprehension, the thoughts of, is it really gonna start? And those memories are what we're trying to create with this product for your students, is to have the experience and feel that motivation to do a good job and the pride that comes along with it in having done all of that work and seeing the results. And we've been doing this for many, many years. There are products just like this one at schools all around the world. There are thousands of students have gone through programs and learned engine mechanical on console lab products just like this one. And yet this one is brand new. It's on a new platform. It's based on a GM, of course, it's what everyone wants, Chevrolet Sonic 1.8 liter. And compared to our engines for teaching engine performance, where we're looking for gasoline direct injection, we're looking for a timing chain, aluminum block, all the latest and greatest technology. For engine mechanical, that's not what most teachers in most schools want. They want an iron block, they want a timing belt, and they want port fuel injection. And guess what? That's what we've got. So this engine has a timing belt. This engine has an iron block. So even after taking it apart and putting it back together a hundred times, you'll hopefully need a lot less helicoils because the, the threads are not gonna be all stripped out. And it has port fuel injection. So when you go to take things off like the cylinder head, you can just pull off the intake manifold. You don't have to worry about tons of specialty tools uh, to pull out the gasoline, uh, the GDI direct injectors. And We've taken a lot of time at, to work on all of the parts that the student and the teachers that you're gonna to be touching. So for example, this fuel line. This is the fuel supply line. It's under pressure. There's gas in there. Take that apart. We didn't drip anything down here. We haven't made a mess. I didn't even need a rag. I didn't even get any on my hands. And it's this type of detail that we've brought to every connection point on the engine. And we've really worked so that every component has its place as much when the two products are together, because this splits in two, as much as when the product is together as when the product is apart. So all of the hoses, all of the wiring harnesses have a place to go when they're not in use. For the connection between the two products. So this one slides in and out. This is our swivel engine stand. This is what's gonna allow us to rotate the engine. It's what's bolted to the engine block. This swivel stand here now slides in to these nice little rails with a nice little smooth plastic, slides in and out like butter. And to connect the two together, we have these pins, quarter turn, and you're locked in. You've got a pin here, a pin on the other side. Once the two are pinned together, tolerances are nice and tight. There's nothing wobbling around. You can roll this around your shop as one unit and you can leave it together. So there's a lot of improvements, a lot of things that we have done to make it easier for your students. A lot of intuitive solutions that we've brought to this to save you time and let your students focus on the important part, learning everything they need to learn about the engine. Now, there were some requests from customers that we've had over the years, and we've taken a whole bunch of them and combined them into this here. We now have an oil pressure gauge. And guess what? It's not electronic. It's a mechanical oil pressure gauge with a hose. And it goes directly to the engine. It's got a quick connect. So it's easy to connect, disconnect. It's always there. On top of that, we've added these two switches. So we still have the regular ignition switch. We can start and run the engine. That's, that's another thing we'll show. We have these two switches here that allow us go here and here. You can see the oil pressure come up. We can now circulate oil through the system. And we're doing that without running the injectors and without firing the spark plugs. So there's no chance this thing's gonna fire up or get flooded or anything like that. So quick and easy, 
we can get pressure, oil pressure through all the galleries and we can circulate oil through and we can also do things like compression testing. All very, very easily and fast right here. You may notice there's a couple things on this product or missing from this product that are no longer present on this product compared to the old ones. We used to have often a breakout box, but we found out that most customers never use that for engine mechanical. So we don't put the breakout box anymore. Same thing, we had an optional uh, fault box. We're not doing it anymore. For the mechanical engine, no electrical faults, no electrical measurements at the breakout box. We still got the data link connector so that we can do a scan tool use and we're gonna do the rest of the testing mechanically. Now, like all Constellab engine benches, we have a main battery switch. We have an included battery charger. So when you're not using this thing, you can plug it in the wall. Uh, we've got accelerator pedal down there, easy to access, even with big boots. And a fuel tank here with EVAP system, all fully functional. One last thing that uh, many of you, like me, if you've ever been bit in the butt with these emergency stop switches, which is great for safety and it's gotta be there, but a lot of times someone leans over it and flips it down and you don't notice. And then the, you don't remember why the engine doesn't start. Well, this one's illuminated, so hopefully, like me, you'll see the light and see that that's the reason why the engine wasn't starting. So now, why don't we get a student and get into this? All right, so we wanna split this unit into two. We need to disconnect, what do we need to disconnect? The fuel, fuel, the coolant, coolant and electrical. Okay, let's do it. So, we pulled the engine out. That took us a grand total of how long? 13 minutes. 13 minutes. That's pretty good time. Um, I wanna just show now that we can rotate the engine all the way around while the engine is fully dressed with all of the components on it. So we're gonna plug uh, the coolant outlets because I haven't rotated yet, so, and I don't really wanna have coolant all over me. I already made enough mess earlier. So now I'm gonna take off the uh, serpentine belt cover. It's only got four bolts. Nice and easy. So there we go. Nice and easy to pull it off. Where does this go? You know where this goes on the bench? Right here. And we even designed it so that you can use the same that's and bolts in storage mode as in this one. So here we're just pulling off the exhaust manifold. We're going to pull the exhaust off just to show you. And even the exhaust manifold has its own storage space on the bench. So, last piece to install on the starting station is the exhaust. So, now that we've got everything off of the engine and everything is now in its place, we're not going to lose any of the parts, we're not going to lose any of the nuts and bolts. And now, JC is a student, now you can do something like the uh, cylinder head gasket, maybe pull the crank, pull some pistons. Pull this thing right down to my nuts and bolts. Back together. All right, JC. So now we took the engine out, we separated the two parts of the product, took it apart, put it back together. Let's see. You put oil in it? I did. You get the timing right on the timing belt? I checked twice. Check twice for sure. Okay. We got coolant in it? Yes. All the connections are good, all the wires are good. Yes, I've plugged everything. Okay, so what else do you think we should do before we fire this thing up? I think we should check if our oil pressure is okay. That's a good idea, why don't you try? All right, so we've got 30 pounds of oil pressure and now that oil has circulated through all the oil galleries. I think we're gonna be ready to go. Why don't we uh, get the exhaust hooked up to this thing and we'll fire it up. All right, man, it's the moment of truth. Go for it. Woohoo! Nice. I 
Concelab product like this one for teaching combustion engine mechanical can help your school create valuable learning experiences for your students that are measurable, memorable, and repeatable. To find out more about this product and many more, visit concelab.com. Thanks for watching.